this buffalo, um, we called him Bertie, spent a period of about three or four weeks wandering up and down our side of the river. He had a very bad, deep broken rear leg. This is sort of right in front of our house where he decided to take his last moments. These are rangers from the Kruger and they can't cross the river and they were trying to rouse him to see if he was awake. Obviously somebody had reported that there was a buffalo there but he was right at the end and this was sort of over a period of four weeks. There he lay down in the morning and later that day he succumbed his injuries and as you can see the vultures are there already they were there within an hour or two this is a bit later in the evening two crocodiles w wait a minute what why is that crocodile diving into the river he must have been spooked by something and there's the second croc he has also been spooked by something now i wonder what that can be oh well oh he has a human this is an opportunist looking to get some meat off Bertie. He's crawled in uh, from the left and taken his shirt off, put it over his head to disguise himself and he's going to go and try and cut a piece of meat. Um, it is pitch dark and this is the infrared from the camera. Uh, my neighbor spotted him and he called out and at that point the gentleman turned around and at that name we now call him the night crawler he went away empty-handed um, and here the hyenas waiting across the river patiently uh, he doesn't cross the river and here come the big men the big crocs coming in these crocs slowly came up and slowly started to demolish Bertie. And this is a couple of days later. They've entered in through the anus. They would actually go inside there and actually take out the insides. Now look at the size of that croc coming out of the water. That's a massive. And that took a process of about 10 days and eventually there was nothing left inside the skin but skin. Now that is the end of Bertie.